Grandfather was told he had to finish the building of the Devil's Bridge. As he started to work on the bridge again, Grandfather had panic attacks. Heidi was worried. Do you know what happened at the Devil's Bridge six years ago? There has been an accident. With Clara and Peter, she investigated and found out the truth. Your father died because of the uncle. <gasps> she then confronted Grandfather at the bridge and helped him make peace with his past. It was not your fault if the beam broke. There was nothing you could do. Poetry ever written. Oh, Heinrich Heine. <clears throat> her eyes were mild, <laughs> her cheeks were fair, like pictured saints with golden hair. And as Man, I. Mountain goat, it's all crooked. It's going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. Could you refrain from your endless grumbling? Huh? I remind you we have the responsibility of two young children here. They should not hear such vociferations. Mm, and I have a bridge to build. And this plank is making it difficult. Maybe if you'd approach it with more calm and serenity, it would be more helpful for everyone. Mm. We would all like to enjoy Mr. Heiner's fine poetry in peace. Thank you. I've got you, little butterfly. Well, where was I? <laughs> Ladies. Hmm. Her eyes were mild. Her cheeks were fair. Why a horn marmot? Now the plainer. Oh, curse. Crookedy crockery. Oh. That's enough already. Oh, I wish we could go back to Frankfurt now. I can't stand to live here anymore. Hmm? Maybe we could go to the village and shop, miss. Hmm. We could prepare a good meal for tonight, just like in Frankfurt. <sighs> Anything to get me out of here. And having a proper dinner that's not cured meat and melted cheese would be a blessing. Yes. Can I stay here, miss? Why is that, Clara dear? I'd like to draw the mountains. Hmm. If you like. We shouldn't be long, anyway. Clara, mm -hmm. you sure you'll be okay? Yes, and I don't mind your grandfather's cursing. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr and Mrs Keller. Good morning, Heidi. Miss? Mm. Good morning, Miss. Good morning. What would you like today? Um. Well, that is a good question. I don't really know. We would like to make a special dinner to feel like we're in Frankfurt, Mrs. Keller. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Something special. Well, I'm sure we'll find something for you. Why don't you try some of our finest? We have sardines in oil, black olives, they're from Greece, and of course, Morning, our Italian tagliatelle. I'm sorry to bother you. But I was wondering if you knew where I could find work around here. No task is too hard. Well, I'm sure we <laughs> can, can find something anything. that you like. My name is Friedrich. Miss? I'm sorry. Did you make up your mind? Huh? Are you all right, sorry. Miss? Of course. I miss? You good luck. Yes, everything's all right. Vera? Uh -huh. Is that you? It's me, Friedrich. I'm sorry, you must have me confused with someone else. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. 
you really look like my old friend Vera. Come on, Heidi. We need to get back. But, Miss, we haven't even bought anything yet. It's time. When I say it's time, Adelaide. Now, come. That woman, where does she live? Oh, she's a proper lady from Frankfurt, you know. Frankfurt? Yes, and she's staying for the summer at the uncle's cabin, up in the mountains. He's our carpenter here. Do you know Miss Rottenmeier? Well, I thought... maybe. I don't know. What's going on, Miss? Why do we have to run away like that? Was it that man? Did it upset you that he recognised you? I don't know what that man wanted. He took me for someone else. Now let's go back home. I'm worried about Clara. That's all. Was Alda out of eggs? <laughs> no, Grandfather, but I think something is wrong. Huh? Should we try to talk to her? I think it's best to give her some time alone. Just stay outside until lunchtime, okay? Mm -hmm. Could we come to the bridge with you this afternoon, Grandfather? You know it's too dangerous, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't you have some practice to do with Clara? That's right. Clara's made so much progress since she's arrived. <laughs> well, thanks to you. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Friedrich, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm looking for work. I heard you're building a bridge. I was wondering if you needed a hand. Have you had any carpentry experience? I'm finishing my journeyman years before returning to my homeland near Frankfurt. Carpentry is my favorite trade. Well, I do actually need some help for a couple of days, just to set everything up. And to plane that weasel of a plank in the shed. I can do whatever you need, sir. Hmm. You'll share the barn with me at night, and you can eat with us. Is that all right with you? That's all I'm asking, sir. We're about to have lunch. Why don't you have some soup with us before we start? That's very nice, sir, but the village blacksmith already took care of that. Good man. He was so sorry not to have a job for me. I'll settle in the barn until you're ready to go. Perfect. Lunch is ready. Well, that Friedrich sounds like a nice man. Huh? Hmm? Friedrich? Yes. He's the man we saw at the grocery store this morning. Grandfather hired him to help with the bridge. Don't worry. You'll hardly see him. You'll stay in the barn with me. Huh? Then we'll spend our days at the bridge. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Is there a problem? A problem? Having a stranger around the girls? Yes. I think there is. Mm, you've spent too much time in the city, Miss Rottenmeier. <gasps> this man is from the countryside. He seems very gentle. Hmm. Grandfather is right, Miss. And why is that, Clara? He looks like a proper gentleman, and he was very polite. It's hard enough taking care of the three of you. I won't have another ill-mannered man around making matters worse. <laughs> It's only going to be for a few days. It's not such a big problem. Well, I disagree. Friedrich stays, and that's final. If that is so, I will go back to Frankfurt today with Clara. What? No. I've made my decision. Miss Rottenmeier, Mr. Sesselman asked me to look after his daughter, and that's what I'll do. If you want to go, the door is there. I know Mr. Sesselman will agree with me. I will not leave Clara with a rude man like you and a stranger around. <sighs> well then, I won't be in your way, Miss Rottenmeier. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. But, Grandfather, you can't let Clara go. I'm sorry, Heidi. Miss Rottenmeier is Clara's governess. She knows what she has to do. Fighting it won't make it any easier. <laughs> 
want to go, miss. I want to stay here with Heidi. Is there anything we can do to help? Maybe I can clean the dishes and sweep the cabin if you have too much work. <sighs> Just finish your soup. <sighs> I'm sure Miss Rottermeyer is upset about Friedrich. Friedrich? But why? When we saw him at the grocery store, it was like he knew Miss Rottenmeyer from a long time ago. Really? Yes, but she pretended and said it wasn't her. And since then, she's been acting strangely. Mm. It's probably because of him that she wants to leave so quickly. Do you think he could help us change Miss Rottenmeyer's mind? Maybe. Let's go see him. Hmm? Can you help me fold this, Clara? We're going to be late for the afternoon train. Yes, miss. <laughs> need something. Hmm. Can I ask you something personal? Of course. Who is Vera? Hmm? She was a dear friend of mine when I was a young man. Oh. Hmm. We were inseparable. We both grew up in Oringen, not too far from Frankfurt. Have you ever been there? I've never been to Oringen, but I lived for five years in Mainfield, and then I spent a year in Frankfurt. Hmm. I've never forgotten her. Oh, she really looks like Miss Rottenmeier. I thought she looked like her, but now I don't know. She doesn't seem to recognize me. Miss Rottenmeier hasn't been herself since she saw you at the store, and now she wants to leave for Frankfurt and take my friend Clara with her. Really? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, maybe you could show her your picture. She might remember you and want to stay then. Hmm, why not? I have made my decision, Clara. Don't keep on. <clears throat> Miss Rottenmeier? Yes, Adelaide? What is it? Um... Well, will you tell... <clears throat> oh. Mom, I know you said I took you for someone else, but I wanted to show you... this. Hmm. This is my friend Vera. When we were 15, we both lived in Orangen. I was born and raised in Frankfurt, and never set foot in any place called Orangen. The resemblance is uncanny, don't you think? Yes, I can see there is a resemblance. But this is not me, as I have already told you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to finish packing. We've got a train to catch. <laughs> So, you made your decision. You didn't leave me much choice. Please, Miss Rottenmeier. You can't stay. You know that. It's up to you. No, I can't. Goodbye, sir. Grandfather. I want to stay, Grandfather. You know it's not my decision. I am sorry. Please. You be brave, Clara, and you come back to see us again, all right? <laughs> come on, mm. we don't want to miss the train. Go ahead now. Mm. Cart is ready, sir. Mm. I'm going to the bridge. Can you take care of the beam in the shed? It's crooked, it needs planing. I will. I don't want to take that train, Heidi. We have to do something. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. Maybe you can miss the train. Mm -hmm. If we hide in the woods, Miss Rotomar will have to find us and you'll miss the train. Mm. But you still want to take the train tomorrow. Hurry up, ladies. At least that'll give us more time to convince her. Mm, you're right. We should try. Okay. Get ready. Mm. 
now. <laughs> Clara? Adelaide? What on earth? until the train has left Earthly, just to make sure. Then we can go back to the cabin. I hope Miss Rottenmeyer won't be too mad at us. It's our only way to stay together. Problem? <gasps> What's going on? Have you seen Adelaide and Clara? No, I haven't seen them. Uh, they've gone. What? They ran off so we'd missed the train. Why, well, I thought they'd come back here. Now they could be anywhere. They could get lost. <gasps> I'm sure they're somewhere around. We'll find them together. Where did you see them last? In the woods. Come on, let's find them. We can settle there. Clara. I'll get someone. Huh? Don't leave me alone. Don't worry, I'll stay close. We're here! Help! The last time I saw them was right here. Clara! Adelaide! Let's go that way. Thank you for your help. Why wouldn't I? You've been so kind to me ever since I arrived. I'm sorry about this morning. I shouldn't have to... Is anybody there? Adelaide! Oh. Hey! Russian Maya won't be too upset. I can deal with that. Hmm. <gasps> Clara! What happened? I'm sorry, miss. We just wanted to stay together. <gasps> oh, Clara! It's all my fault. Hmm. Is she all right? Yes, but she needs to rest. Hmm. Could you take me in my wheelchair, sir? Enough wheelchair for today. I'll carry you. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Well, let's go to the cabin. But what about your train? Uh, it's too late for today, I'm afraid. Well, it's always tomorrow. Now, you can push the wheelchair back to the cabin, but be careful. Hmm. I'm sorry I treated you like that, Friedrich. You were right. I am Vera. But why? And why change your name? It was too hard for me to face this 
heart of my past. Rottenmeier was my mother's maiden name. I'm sorry I left Orangen without telling you, but I had to. It was not the life for me, staying on a farm, growing old in the country. I was torn. I had you there, but I knew I had to go. I left without telling anyone, not even my family. So what did you do? I went to Frankfurt and studied in a convent, then at a boarding school, before I found the governess position at Mr. Sessiman's. This is the life I chose. But I left my heart in Orngel. I'm happy you have the life you wanted. That's all I ever wish for you. So, does that mean you're going to stay, miss? <laughs> yes, Adelaide. Really? But you have to promise never to do that again. I promise. Great. I can't wait to tell Clara and Grandfather. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs>